What's up, everybody? I'm Eric Hansen, and I have a special guest with me, Mr. Dan Becker. You've got some new gear. Mm -hmm. Actually, you kind of have a really interesting thing going on. It's the most interesting I've ever used, to you, say the least. This is the first time that we've been backpacking since our fateful incident in the yes, Grand Canyon. this is true. Let's dive in, and why is it the most interesting that you've ever used? Wait a second. What is going on? You have down feathers in your ear? Oh, what? You have down feathers That's gray in your hair. Ear. No, it's down feather. <laughs> there, I, we may or may not be camping, and my son is here, he's 11, and he may or may not have completely ripped open a sleeping bag last night. So, <laughs> it's also winter inside my tent. Oh, there in you my go. Ear. It, there's a snowy, snowy inner tent. Yeah. Let's show you the backpack. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So, this is a backpacking system made by a company called Near Zero. If you don't know what to buy, you've never been backpacking before, you're a beginner backpacker, you walk into say like an REI and your eyes are just glassed over because you're just totally overwhelmed, you can buy this and it's got everything you need literally completely packed up. It will be shipped to your house. You can put it on and go on your hike. That is it. I've never even looked inside of it until I got out here just to see like what a kind of a beginner backpacker would do. Yeah. And that's what we've been doing. So this is a slightly different thing than normal because this is not like your chosen gear. Yes, Of correct. like, oh, I curated all of this stuff. Right. But it's still worth looking at because yeah, for sure. I've seen you pull a lot of the stuff out and be like, huh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I got to look at this through the lens of a beginner backpacker. So I'm, I've, I've obviously used a lot of different backpacks. I'm trying to look at it from like, oh, this is what I would do if I was a new backpacker. It's a 50 liter pack but I guess I could take it down and show you. Yeah, let's take it down, let's look at it. This is a hyper-organized backpack. And when I say hyper-organized, I mean everything inside of it is um, labeled of where you put things when you pack it up. Like for instance, this is the uh, hygiene kit. I mean, it's it comes fully packed, body wipes, cleaning towels, toothbrush, camp soap, towels, you name it, all pre-packaged for you. Uh, if there's one thing I don't like about this, it's the storage for food. All the food is supposed to be stored under this back panel, which it'll store maybe a couple days worth of food, but it's not gonna really store much past that here. Oh, so this is literally... Yeah, everything's literally labeled where you put things. So for oh. instance, right here, wow. this is the pocket for your cookware. What? But this sector your section here, yeah. Is the, pot, is the section for your tent to fit. So it's labeled as a tent. And then this section- This is what goes against your back? Yep, so the, okay. the length of the, yep. And then like right here, this is where your sleeping pad goes. And now you can take this out. You don't have to leave this in there, but it's sectioned off for you to kind of help you pack your backpack appropriately so the weight is distributed appropriately. So it's a very, 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 very well thought out backpack. Do you and, feel like this is how you would pack the backpack? Or is it just mostly for people who don't know where, what yeah. should go where? Yes, I think that's who it's for. Yeah. Oh, you got a saw in there? Yeah, it comes with, I, so yeah, again, so th this is stuff that I normally don't bring. I normally don't bring a saw, but I, like I said, I just said, yep, I'll take- the, the full thing. The full thing, and I'm just gonna use it. And I didn't even, you can vouch for this, I didn't even look at hardly anything until we even got here. Like even the tent, it was the first time I saw it. Which I don't recommend doing. I don't recommend doing, but I was taking the- <laughs> But that was the point. That was the point. I was trying to come at it from a new backpacker yeah. and a lot of new backpackers, that's what they do. They, they just grab the tent and go. They, they don't even set it up. Figure it out. Figure it out on, on the, the first trail. night. Yeah. Right. Like up here, everything's labeled miscellaneous. Your light is in here. Your first aid is in here. It's interesting because it is for the new backpacker. Correct. Now this is obviously overdone for me. Like yeah. I, I don't need a lot of this stuff. And at least in this situation, they're overdoing it with Decent gear, that's fairly lightweight. The sleeping bag that they give you, uh, they sent me two sleeping bags, but this one I used a quilt on, uh, was a, is a 20 degree, 850 fill down sleeping bag, which is nice. That all fits in there? All fits in there, yep. The sleeping bag compartment. compartment is... No, the sleeping bag compartment is down here, so oh, you put okay. the sleeping bag down here, but it packs down really small. The sleeping bag was, <sighs> I think it was under two pounds. It's a nice sleeping bag, 850 fill down. Yeah, that's... That's good quality. It's not gonna be the best sleeping bag on the market, but for a new backpacker who probably wouldn't even know to buy a down sleeping bag, yeah. they give you a down, they might go to Walmart and buy the synthetic one for 40 bucks and freeze all night, Yeah. but at least this one's appropriate. So kudos to them. I think they did a great job organizing the whole thing. So I just wanna say that like, I am really intrigued by this system. I'm actually impressed. When you told me that that's what was going on, I was like, 
Oh, yeah, that, that could that could be disaster. Yeah. But you started bringing out the tent, your sleeping bag, all those things, and I was like, oh, that looks like yeah, legitimate gear. If there is disaster, I would say it it's is how you've done this. Now. It's how it's, <laughs> and how it looks now because I can totally see a yeah. new guy going fumbling through, and then it looks like this. Yeah. And then you're packing up for the next day, and you're just like, oh my gosh, just shove it back in. You're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed. So I can see how that could happen. Well, cool. Well, yeah, let's see. Let's look at the tent and what you got going on yeah, over okay. there. So, yeah, this is some stuff that I was like, wow. I, I'm, I'm, I've reviewed a lot of tents, a lot of tents, and pleasantly surprised. This is a great tent. It's a two-person lightweight tent. I don't remember the exact weight. I think it weighs around three pounds all in, which is great for a two-person double wall tent in a system where that whole system, by the way, is like 1200 bucks all in. That kit weighs like, with the tent, everything included is like, I wanna say like between 16 and 18 pounds base weight, which is great at that price point, I think. This is new. Yeah, brand new. I, yeah, I, like, I, I don't well, wanna say new, but it's new enough, new to me. It's a new, he's on the more startup end. Yeah, he's on the more startup end. Right now it's just one guy. I think he has a few people working for him. Well, cool. sweet. Well, yeah, yeah let's, uh, yeah, so it's uh, just a double wall, fully freestanding tent. The sleeping pads were, okay. I didn't get some cheap Amazon pad. This is, this is nice. It's a 25 inch wide pad, which is great. Nice. It's, it's insulated. I don't know the R value on this particular pad, but it was insulated. We it got in the high forties last night. We were warm underneath us. That was fine. Um, and it's one of the quilted kind, which I like, and it was, I mean, it was comfortable. I didn't have a problem at all. Lightweight. I think a lot of the products are probably like white label products that he didn't design himself, but he's just labeled for the brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot of that that happens. Far more than you might expect. Yeah. Way more. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this is the quilt. It's essentially, they call it a quilt, but it's essentially just one of those rectangular, you know, sleeping bags that you'd find anywhere, but this one is down. See, there's the down now, escaping. <laughs> That's what was in your yeah, ear. That was in my ear last night. <laughs> uh, but this one's like, this one's 850 fill power down, which, wow. This weighs about a pound, but it's rated, comfort rated to 50 degrees. Like I said, they do have a sleeping bag that's 20 degrees, but because it was gonna be warmer here, they sent me this one just so to use here. It's so. more of like a summer bag. This is certainly a summer bag. Was there one thing that stood out to you as like, this This is the thing that really surprised me as? Uh, honestly, the, the, whole, the shelter and the sleep system were, were my favorite for sure. I think the tent for me was like the, the most like, okay, that's a pretty sweet, nice tent. And it very much resembles like the MSR's Hubba Hubba yes. design. Yes, 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 yes. But for being as light as it is and as inexpensive as it is. Yep. I am pretty impressed with that. But uh, this is the cook pot that he sent me. Now they do have a bunch of different cook, cook pots that you choose, that you can choose. This particular one is a fully titanium, 1100 milliliter pot. Uh, very similar to like the Tox design. It does look like Tox, yeah. Yep, uh, and then the stove, a decent stove, very small, super lightweight stove uh, that just attaches to a gas canner that came with it. It comes included with a titanium spoon. Like you think of a new backpacker, they're bringing like sp spatulas off their grill at home. You know what I mean? Like, I've done that. It even comes with a chair. Yeah, it comes, yeah. Well, not that, but that. The... It does come with this little mini chair. I mean, this isn't much, it's just enough to keep your rear it's end It's a little stool. Ground. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Hopefully. Oh yeah, you look comfortable. Oh, I am comfortable. That's pretty much my setup. I mean, even like down to the little carabiner. Okay, I actually set. really like this little detail. Yeah, like even things like this. Um, it's just a really cool little carabiner. Um, it comes with uh, a little box cutter or like a seatbelt cutter here, uh, a little screwdriver on the end there, and then you can use it to light a, a fire or light your stove, which is what I used it for, um, and then just attach whatever you want to it. So yeah, just little details where it was very well thought out. I can't imagine how much this guy thinks about backpacking yeah. here. For, for an intermediate backpacker, how is this system? I certainly think this could go to intermediate based on the sleep system alone. Okay. I think, I think, if anything, this thing saves you time yeah. shopping. So I do think from an intermediate backpack, because most new backpackers are gonna need like a 70 liter pack for like a weekend trip, right? I started with like an 85 liter <laughs> right. backpack yeah, exactly. for so my first trip. This is a 55 liter pack and you're getting decent gear. I certainly think this could last you several years or at least some of the gear you probably wouldn't even need to switch out maybe ever because it's sort of like that ultralight, comfortable, 
stuff. Yeah, but for somebody like us, who does this frequently, this is not the system I would choose just because I'm dialed into what I like. Yeah. And I already know what I like and what I want. And some of the stuff I would use, like the sleeping pad, the I might use the tent again, the sleep, you know, the sleep system, that kind of stuff. But uh, like little details that, you know, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Are you, yeah. Are, do you feel satisfied? Do you feel like you've I do. showed everybody all the things that you need? Yep. I think we're good. Thank you. Do you want to take go. this yeah, over? There we go. There we go. Okay. Look at this camera. Man. Oh. It makes the big bucks. Oh, well, you know. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. So come on over this way. We've got a, a few sexy items here that I that I do want to show off because this is my first trip with the Nemo Dagger. This is the two-person backpacking tent, and actually, that right there is something that I really like. I get really annoyed with door opening closure systems. Door opening closure systems. <laughs> door opening systems. Door closure, closure opening yeah, system, yeah. closures? No, I am all, I'm frequently an, annoyed by how they often don't work, but I really like this system. So this is a double wall, two person backpacking tent. Definitely my biggest concern about the tent from my initial perspective is its weight. It is a hair over four pounds. Oh wow. All together. So it's four pounds, two ounces. But this is probably where a lot of that weight comes from, but they give you really good yeah. Ten stakes. Yeah, they and look ten uh, of them. Ten of like uh, they're shaped like the groundhogs. They, the yeah, size. yeah, but they give you a, a lot of them. So I already have four set up, and then these are all backups, and then a bunch of guy lines. So I think if you wanted to shave that weight down, you could do that there. I do kind of wish that this was closer to the three and a half pound or less yeah. weight, because it just feels like for a lot of the backpacking tents that cost around five hundred dollars, that's kind of where. Okay. Do you Those think that at, this would be good maybe at that weight for two people? Since it's a two person tent, you could divide up the weight? Well, yeah, cause that is, and then they give you this uh, packing system. So right oh, now nice. I didn't even set up my rain fly, but they do give you a, the system that comes with it is, a benefit is that you can divide it cleanly and easily up amongst two people. So then each person is, you know, carrying yep. two pounds. So that is uh, definitely a well thought out system. And I actually love the design. So the design of this tent is delicious. It is so good. I love these more vertical walls. Obviously, if there's a second person there, you don't feel like you're all kind of leaning into the center. There's a lot of room this way. It's, it's basically this headroom is pretty significant all the way through the tent. And then there's some other just like little features that I'm enjoying. Oh yeah, you got here. pockets everywhere. Pockets everywhere. These, these are, you know, head and foot. Uh, and then these actually are for night lights. Oh, so good. wow. You throw your headlamp in okay. there and it kind of creates a glow versus yeah. just that bright strobe light. My favorite thing was actually not setting up the rain fly because we have clear skies right now and stargazing. Oh this. yeah, yeah, the yeah. The stargazing last night was so good. I bet. It was a little chilly in my tent, so we put the rain fly on yeah, with, that, with you, that quilt. You, yes. I'm getting... Yeah, it's a little, little toasty, toasty a little toasty, yeah. The sun has come out. And I'm holding the camera, so I can't really take yeah, off my you, jacket. You, you're just, I'm working. You're working here, Dan. Big fan of the tent. Wish it was a hair lighter, but it's like a $500 tent, which is very expensive, but at the same time, it feels like almost all tents right now are like over $500. I think this is easily one of my favorite designs of a tent. So definitely like that. Uh, I also have the Nemo Tensor. This is the 4.2, more like a three season ultralight mattress that I have really been liking. And I, I modified this. Oh, you did? Oh, I modified it. Oh, you it. modified it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. That's genius. I added these little Velcro strips yeah. here so that I could pair it with my pillow. Okay. And then now that pillow doesn't fly around at night. Done. What pillow is that? Uh, it is the Cedar Summit Eros Ultralight Pillow. Okay. This, I, I love this pillow. I know you're more of a- I'm a posh cookie, yeah. cushy guy. But this one weighs nothing. It's so, so light, it packs down to like this Literally big. nothing, does it float? It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it practically floats. And another new thing, I actually got this sleeping bag. Ooh, there's my down. Oh, look uh, at that. I got this sleeping bag at the end of spring. And this is the first trip I've actually been able to take it out. So this is the Riff 15 degree bag, also from Nemo. Sounds what like is this um, slit here? 
These are thermo gills. Glad you asked. Oh, gills. Because, yeah. So. So this is like a, a not. Is, uh, you can go underwater. Let me show you. <laughs> Get in the bag, and I'll dump you in the creek. Yeah, well, yeah. And, toss me yeah, in. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. Toss you in the creek. So it is ventilation. So when you get warm, so this would be a good example. 15 degrees is overkill for a night like what we're having out here. Too warm, actually. So you open these gills up, and you can still have more of the zipped up, closed in feeling okay. without getting quite so hot. Oh, wow. I was I was really comfortable last night, and it was probably like 45 to 40, maybe 45 to 50 degrees, somewhere in that okay. range last night. And I had these open, but I had most of this closed, and I was doing loving good. life. Yeah. yeah. So warmer than I was. <laughs> you were in your 50 degree quilt. I was. Yeah. I want to show off a couple more things. Dan, you are largely responsible oh. for this choice right here. Oh, look at this. Oh. Look at this beauty. And I'm referring to not just Eric, but the, the chair. What goes in the chair? Yeah. The beauty. <laughs> this is the Helinox Chair Zero L. And the L is, I think, stands for luxury uh, because it's slightly beefed up. It has a higher weight capacity. I think it's over 360 pounds can actually sit in this. So if you are a bigger individual who still wants to be comfortable backpacking, this is a great chair. And I I think that for me, I would still probably prefer the, the base version, the Chair Zero, yeah, uh, because I don't necessarily think the extra few ounces in size is necessary for me, but it's nice to know that this is a deeper chair. There's a, I sit up a little bit higher and I have more back support. So, so this is a lot more robust than the it, other one. It is, it is. You can definitely, you put them side by side and you see like, oh, that's different. That one, the Chair Zero L, this one is bigger. These poles have, they just look beefier. How are you liking hiking with a chair? I've been either a no chair user or a stool user for the, the longest time. Pretty much my entirety of my backpacking career. I don't know if I'm going back. Oh, I, I'm also, wow, wow, I'm about to folks, turn you heard it here. Yeah, that's right, Dan is the oh, one. Oh my Dan, gosh. Uh, some say Dan is an influencer. Oh my and goodness. And he has influenced oh me goodness. to become a chair user. Wow. And I'm, I'm into it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Also, I, I do not have boogers in my nose, I don't think. Uh, you, you probably do. <laughs> and then this is another thing that's new oh, to yeah, me. Oh yeah, this is really cool. So I've been using Grails a lot over the last few years. They are purifiers, not water filters. The difference being that a purifier will remove viruses and basically the uh, ultra microscopic things out of water. Um, the, the main GeoPress from Grail is like plastic, I think. And this is titanium. So this is, I, I, I don't know where they came up with this idea, but it's pretty interesting. So it's got this titanium outer sleeve that because this was my first time and I was suspicious, I did bring a titanium pot. But the idea is that you can ditch that all together and actually cook your, how, well, I don't know if I would cook food. Like I don't want like stirring my oatmeal in here, but for adding my hot water in, heating it up, and then adding that to my dehydrated meals or freeze dried meals. This is, this could replace this altogether. So I am pretty intrigued. And the other thing that I have noticed, one of the actual real benefits of this is, so a drawback is that it's taller, so it's potentially more tippy, but because it's taller, these handles are farther away from the heat and these stay cool much better than a pot where as this heat oh, spills yeah. out, I these see. things get burning hot. For sure. And I regularly either burn myself uh, or, you know, just have to wait a while. But because this is taller, these get wet. By the time the heat comes all the way around and up, the, these don't get nearly as oh, hot. Oh, nice, yeah. So that is definitely I thought about that when you were setting that up. I thought, oh, well, those handles are probably gonna get hot, but that's good to know. I think that's kind of cool. It is pricey, and I don't know if the price is really, to me, justified. The, the original plastic version is like 89 bucks, which I like that price point. This is $200. Oh, that's wow. Pr that's pretty <laughs> pricey. Wow. So I, that's pretty that's, highly that's, yeah, that's tough. specialized. And I'm, 
would have a hard time truly recommending it at that price point, but there's probably some people who will geek out out there and just think that it's the coolest thing. Yeah. And it is actually pretty cool. So the only other knock I would say is that to cook with it, I then have to put this somewhere that I, and I don't really want to just set it in the dirt. Yeah. So, but you got to keep in mind too, it is a purifier. So those are a lot more expensive in general. Purifiers are more expensive than filters. Yeah. All, all the way across the board. So keep that in mind. The last little thing I want to run through is my backpack. So I'm using the Waymark light 50 liter backpack and I'm in general more of a traditional backpacker, not a ultralight backpacker. So getting my chance to really use an ultralight, we're, we're actually on the PCT right now and I've seen other backpackers a half a dozen times uh, using this backpack. I've been liking it. What, some things that I do really like about it is I actually really like this super deep hip belt pocket where I'm actually able to carry full on binoculars. Oh wow, nice. Out here. So these are my birding binoculars that I picked up and cause my fiance is super into birding and I like that they actually fit on my hip belt. So I can always just pull those out whenever I spot a warbler or prothonotory warbler. Oh, those are frequent around they here. They are the frequent around northern here. Northern prothonotary warbler <laughs> birds. <laughs> you are a birder, Dan. I, you clearly know what you're talking not about. Not even close. The other thing that makes this bag stand out to me in the ultralight category of bags is that it's got these load lifters. So like the hyperlight versions, at least the ones that I've used, the Southwest 2400, uh, do not have load lifters. And I like having that ability to adjust how that sits on my shoulders. It's a pretty basic bag, but it does have support stays in here. So there's a little bit more structure in, in all this. And the, these hip belts have been pretty comfortable, not ultra comfortable, but pretty comfortable. Oh, and one other thing that I am backpacking with now. Oh, wow. This, this is my uh, other little gizmo gadget. Um, I feel like Mary Poppins out here. Yeah, on you the should trail. come floating down from one of the foothills here. I have been recently not diagnosed, but I have some skin conditions popping up from my sun exposure. So I started, you know, taking more precautions, whether it's through sun hoodies uh, that I can pop up and protect my ears and neck and face and stuff, or have an umbrella. I'm actually really liking this setup. I, to me, I prefer this bag over the Hyperlite Southwest 2400, but I'm still only kind of dabbling in the ultralight bags, but you've been a big fan of the yeah. Southwest. That's your go-to. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it's, it's uh, yeah, it, it was definitely, I've got some of the ones I like. But. Oh, what's your, uh, is, are, are we revealing new secrets? I, I'm a fan of the, the Z-Packs. Z-Packs, yeah, that's your Yeah, the Z-Packs, our call. Yeah. That, thing's, that thing is, it's, I, it's I, a winner. Okay, I, like I keep it hearing than, uh, people commenting that that's what I need to try it, out. You got to, it's ridiculously expensive at starting at $400 with no hip belt pockets and each hip belt pocket that you purchase is an additional $30. <laughs> so they know how to, uh, how, to, how to take the money out of your pocket for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Take it out of the hip belt pocket into their pocket. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. How about Ooh. that? You Ooh, like that? that was good. Yeah. That was good. So. Well, thanks for running through this with me. Absolutely. Here, you're probably you're t probably getting a little oh, tired oh. there. So arms hurting. Yeah. Also. Oh, they just showed up. They our scouts, scouts, our scouts have just showed up. Dan, thanks for running through your gear with me. That was super fun. And Battle of the Backpackers version, again, I would love to hear what you loved between Dan's setup and my setup. I don't know, Dan, I don't know. <laughs> so especially for your new backpackers out there, check out Near Zero. Well, we have to hit the trail. Our scouts have found some great stuff that we gotta go check out. So I'm Eric Hansen on my own new channel here. This is Dan Becker with his steady old, steady old. The old stuff. The old stuff. Old guy in an old stuff. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you later.